Sagittarius, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Welcome to everybody who's just discovered my channel. My name is Michelle. This is Born Without Boundaries Tarot, and I am an astrologer and a psychic, intuitive empath, and I use my insights to share with you, to empower you, to inspire you, and to hopefully entertain you. Um, Sagittarius has lots of new stuff that's popping off. I want to, I just want to have it ready to review with you. Uh, first, we're going to get into the astrology. Um, essentially, there's a lot popping off in your second house. Second house is basically the resources you have and how you take, go about taking care of um, your first house, who you are, and second house for you would be Capricorn. So you like to build out into the world. You like to get out into the world. You like to do things. You like to be active and you like to create new things. So there's lots of um, creative energy in you just naturally. Um, now, okay, hold on. I know, I know, I know. I can't count Capricorn, Aquarius. Pisces. So your fourth house is Pisces and that's where Jupiter is. There's a lot of luck and bountifulness coming through the family and the fourth house. That might be by building a family. This You'd have a lot of, if you want to, there's a lot of luck uh, around there. It's a lot of good juju around there. It's also a sense of maybe the family you created starting to experience a lot of prosperity or prosperity coming back to you through the family. This could come through inheritance as well. So, because um, Jupiter is your your ruling dignitary and it's in Pisces now which is it's it's a home as well so um it's peaceful there it's at ease there and it's actually very expansive there it's more expansive there than it is even in Sagittarius because Pisces is that unbounded territory of anything is possible and it's also a sense of I'll tell you this right now, it's a direct reflection of what you have contributed. So if you have contributed great things to your family, to your fourth house, beautiful things are gonna come back to you. There's, it's a reflection. Uh, Pisces is a sort of the illusion of what other people see in you or, or how you see yourself in them and how, and how maybe people even project onto you those things and, and how you've dealt with it and how you have, um, how you have, um, you know, how gracefully you've handled it is ultimately going to be what ends up, uh, coming back to you and becoming your luck and your abundance. Um, but let's look at, uh, Capricorn, which is your second house. There's Venus, there's Mars. They're both there. Venus is now uh, going direct and she should be like fully, we should feel the full effects of her moving forward again by the end of this week. Mercury will go direct in just two days. So we'll feel the full effects of them going direct uh, by Wednesday of next week. Um, and it's all happening in Capricorn. So there's Mercury, Mars, Venus, and Pluto all in Capricorn. So huge transitions are actually boom right there in your inner planets, in your everyday life. You're starting to see and feel the major changes so the cosmic transitions and shifts that may have been felt psychically up until now are are sprouting they're coming up they're coming up through the that dirt and they're coming to life in your second house which is your house of finances it's your house of not only but your house of finances is your second house but it's second house in Capricorn so it's what do you do with your finances what are you now able to do with your finances this is where the abundance and the real transformation is happening having enough finances to actually be able to do something with them and what can you do with the finances and finally being able to see how the money that you have is you're able to do something with it like build something with it grow something with it commit to something with it sign to something with it like build with it out build your world out into the build out into the real world with it and these are the major transformations that you're starting to make in your life and it's extraordinary it's i mean it's just wonderful energy for you um sagittarius um let me share this with you. If you don't watch the daily, I do daily tarot card readings on uh, astrology motivation. And I share this with everybody tomorrow, which is when you'll be seeing this video, I think, uh, at least a lot of you will, is Tuesday. That's the new moon in Aquarius. 
I'm reading from Llewellyn's Witches Date book. No, this is not a paid promotion. I just highly recommend it. It's amazing. Um, and Tuesday is the new moon. And the new moon in Aquarius is, Aquarius is a population, popular people, friends, the house of friends. Also the way the public sees you, your relationship with public. What do you want the public to know about you? How do you want people to interact with you? What do you want to build out into the public? This is a good time to plant those seeds because it's a new moon beginning of something new and this is the freshest newest most abundant soil of the year because the next day is in bulk which in bulk is that is the um, pagan celebration of how the earth is starting to come back to life again you could not plant stuff you could not have a new moon at a better time and then you have this and I want you to get a screenshot of this it's a little manifestation practice that I think is brilliant and I will definitely be performing um, tomorrow it's basically working with seeds and light what do you want to bring light to what do you want to, what seeds do you want to plant what growth do you want to see for the rest of this year I mean this is very powerful energy and I want you guys to know about it so that you know whatever you're building out especially in that Capricornian energy whatever you're building out is really gonna is really gonna take off and especially after Mercury goes direct there's a sense of holy shit you're never gonna see things move so fast in your life for those things, especially in your second house, that you are building out into the real world. So lots of abundance and, and value being added to your life, potentially. Um, okay, I did that with you guys, got that, talked about that. Let's get into the cards. Before I start the, the reading, I just want to let you guys know that I am now offering a membership that enables you to get full access to every single one of the extended videos I will ever make moving forward. It's called the Unbound Membership. Um, there'll be a link for members right below. There'll also be the regular Vimeo reading. So if you just want to buy per Vimeo, like you always have with the extended, be my guest. I, uh, I, I'm grateful for that as well. But this is a way for a really low monthly cost, relatively speaking, for you to get access to all the extended as well as all the perks of all the other memberships. You're going to get at least three readings a week for me or you're going to get access to at least two readings a week for me where you can go online live with me and ask me questions and I'll and I'll do a tarot reading for you there live. Um, um, also content, astrology content, tarot content that other people don't get access to, priority commenting, badges that other people don't get access to. There's a lot of stuff that is available in that membership as well as the extended unlimited access to the extended. So I hope that you will join the membership. It's the unbound membership. Okay, you ready? Let's go into the card. Sagittarius, this is Sagittarius energy. This is Sagittarius energy. This is Sagittarius energy. Sagittarius energy. Um, you're getting over heartache. You're getting time to let go. Or no, you've held on to something. Or something has been stopped or stuck. Um, a porcupine spirit. Time for a beginner mind. It's your mind. Um, your mind has, I'll tell you this right now. It's saying right now. Your mind has decided to not let something go. Your mind has decided to be stuck in a perpetual state of pain and not wanting to let go and of, I, of an idea. Basically, you putting limitations on yourself. And if you become aware of that or becoming aware of that now is going to make all the difference in your life because it's going to... The change of perspective is going to change your life. This is a, a time of a beginner mind um, and time to let go. This is also a sense of maybe feeling like you have been forced into a situation that you were not ready to deal with yet. Feeling forced into a situation that you didn't want to handle or you didn't ever want to think about. So there could be that as well. Um, but it would have already happened. There's just a sense of that's what you're sitting in right now and that could stall you in some ways. Um, we have trust in the magic. So things were really looking up. They were really looking good. There was a lot of optimism and then boom, you got hit with something that you did not want to face. Now, ultimately, um, this is a sense of Maybe you just need to pause for a second and you just need to take care of whatever you need to take care of, especially if this is something emotional that you're going through. 
it's time to honor your emotions. It's also time to honor the fact that if you need something or you need extra support, it's a good time to learn how to ask for it, right? Um, needing help. This could just also, this could also be, yeah, a sense of sort of being stuck in a mindset right now. I don't know that it's going to last forever, but I do know that there's so much abundance that wants to come into your life. And it's sort of stopped behind this energy of, what uh what you don't what you're trying to avoid right now or you're trying not to see especially in a, in a sense of like a mindset that you have time for a beginner mind this is aquarius season right something may be happening in aquarius season that hurt you a great deal um a disappointment of sense of, of sorts that kind of made you get set back or <clears throat> Um, like the like I said, realizing that you've been holding on to these beliefs for way too fucking long, and it's those beliefs themselves that have been keeping you stuck. It's time to get rid of those beliefs that have been keeping you stuck. And this something, if something happened, it could be what showed you, wow, I don't have fucking time to waste. Time is of the essence, and my life is of the essence, and I've wasted too much time being stuck. It's a real a change of perspective that's coming to you now, Sagittarius. Um, how? Oh, yeah. Okay, a lot's coming out. Okay, so we have turn knowledge into wisdom. So the the howl of the moon, right? The wolf. Um, this is a sense of um, you know what you feel inside, um, but there's a lot of feelings inside that maybe it's it's almost like in a sense that um, hold on, hold on, watch your words watch your words you've been holding on to something you have not been saying something or you have been particular about the way you talk about something because it's a very sensitive and particular sensitive time i just want to get deeper into this Watch your words and turn knowledge into wisdom. Trust in the magic. The magic has already started with you. Turn knowledge into wisdom. Hmm, time for a beginner mind. You're starting to recognize the bullshit. You're starting to recognize where the bullshit is. You're starting to recognize the crap that people told you isn't real. You're starting to recognize it and see it. And in that, you are able now to make a decision to go forward, move yourself forward. You're really starting to realize how uh, this stuck mindset just really has, has blocked you. It has blocked you. And that you, you don't need to be blocked anymore. This was, a, this was almost now a self-imposed block because it's like you're choosing to continue to believe whatever you've been raised to believe or whatever mindset has been forced on you. And now you're starting to see, you, you're, you're I don't know, it's just starting to dawn, dawn on you. You're starting to realize it internally. Um, I don't think things have been spoken about or right now there's a, it's a particularly sensitive time where you're being very diplomatic and not not being very Sagittarian and you're 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 in that you are watching what you say in particular. Um, but you're I don't know. I don't know. This is this is really it's stuck energy. There was so much momentum and and now it feels like there's something that's blocking you. What can we do about this block? How do we get rid of this fucking block? How do we get rid of it? Anything else about Sagittarius you need to tell me? Learn from the past. Turn knowledge into wisdom. Watch your words. You realize now that it's not worth talking about this shit. <laughs> Because somebody, it may not be you, is so stuck and lost in their own shit. But now you're you're separating it from yourself. You're recognizing it and realizing it and seeing it. It's not your problem. It's not your business. It's not for you to bother with. This is also a sense of finally being able to move on from the past because you've learned from it. Okay. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. 
you don't want to repeat somebody else's bullshit and you're starting to see their limitations are their limitations they're not yours they may have raised you with the limitations or tried to brainwash you with the limitations <laughs> those are not limitations and they're not a reality and they're not a fucking truth you know, if somebody's told you that you aren't loved, you very much are loved. If somebody's told you that certain things just can't work out, it's almost like this eternal pessimism. You're starting to realize what a fucking douchebag they are. Look at the bigger picture. Amen. Hallelujah. And this is your full moon. It's your energy. Sagittarius. Full moon in Sagittarius. This sense of aim and fire and recognize looking at things looking at a broader picture looking at what the way other people do things the way people outside of your situation do things has helped you and taught you that whatever bullshit you were raised in or contained whatever contained you wasn't real this could be going on in your job it could be going on in your family you're realizing by looking outside of your immediate situation and using your Sagittariusness to look at foreign countries or people outside of you and realize that they do live every day in a different mindset in a different perspective they live it every fucking day so why can't i so why can't i stop your bullshit stop telling me fucking lies i'm not believing it anymore life is too short and i've got a lot of the world to see this is you finally breaking out of your bounds realizing that you've already wasted too much time Whew! Oh shit, Sagittarius. You ain't taking no lift. Uh, then we have um, a help. There's help. Share your dream. Share your dreams. Talk about your desires. Happy birthday, Doug Denny. Talk about your desires. Talk about your wishes. Maybe talk about your hopes for somebody else. Not only talk about them, believe in them. Believe in them enough to take action on them and keep moving forward, forward with them right share your beliefs with others in the past you didn't get this support in the past people denied you the support that you deserved you really did there was talent here there was ability here but people just didn't recognize it because it, it because they were afraid they were afraid they didn't want to do the work they didn't want to fit they were just they shut this was person was a fucking coward and it was their cowardice. And now you're starting to see this is your goddamn cowardice. This is who you are. This could even be somebody that you have admired for a very long time and you've looked up to for a very long time. And now you're starting to see the reality of them, the reality of how closed off they are, the reality of how they restricted themselves and how they've just been fucking wrong this whole time. And now you don't have to be stuck in it anymore. You don't have to be stuck in there, stuck anymore. I think this is the first time you've realized that about them. Or how, at least how it's impacted you. And how it restricted you or affected you. Right? A sense of, oh, oh shit, am I just repeating what they've, what they've taught? Am I, am I just repeating the past, right? This sense of, I don't want to keep repeating the past or keep the cycle going. The patience is here. And the waiting game is here. So ultimately, there's a sense of um, planting the seed and having patience. Something is growing and you couldn't see it at first. And that's the difference. It's like the person who was patient and had faith is going to be there to see the bloom on the flower. The people who just are, are cowards they walk away they don't have faith. They don't realize that you can't just plant the seed and walk away. You have to stay there and nurture it. The people who put the hard work in are the people who get to see the flower. There's blooming here. There's, once again, double, double. There's double the planting power of what we discussed. So this is a sense of recognizing that it's not just a one-off or a real wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, real quick. It's got to happen instantaneous. It's not about instantaneous gratification. It's about constant and consummate commitment. And what you have committed yourself to, Sagittarius, you will see it grow. And if you don't like what you see, you have the ability to change it. Whew, patience and the waiting game as above so below something is just starting to poke through the earth and you're just starting to see wow i can my life is going to be different than i thought it was going to be i have this power i have this ability Ooh, what is this this is a leg up a leg up okay where does this leg up come from where does this leg up come from sagittarius please 
a message in a bottle. Something that has been coming to you for a while. <clears throat> Information that may have been stored up or locked away. This is also Mercury coming out of retrograde. <clears throat> You're finally getting information that you've been waiting on. And it gives you a, a leg up. It gives you um, it gives you an advantage. It helps you move forward. In the past, time for a nap and here and now. You kind of, excuse me, you kind of rested on something. You were kind of stuck on something. Things had stopped moving forward. Maybe you had planted these seeds in the past and ultimately now it's finally coming through. Um, this is this is really about learning how to invest in the long term, which is Capricornian energy really teaching you. A sense of what you invested in, in the long term, you're starting to see that that that's the magic. It's not instantaneous gratification. The magic is, is, is in you. It's in the belief. It's in the constant work and hard work. And finally, that's what really breaks you through. Um, in the past, time for a nap and here and now, it's almost like there's a stuck. All I can describe it as there was a stuckness. A stuckness maybe in the mindset of whoever taught you you didn't deserve to be invested in. Okay, um, how is this leg up come, like, shit, hold the space, in the past this is coming out, hold the space, so, in other words, there's still room for you, there's still room for you, there's still room for you, that's all I can, that's all I can keep repeating in my head, that there's still God, there's still room for you. The space was preserved. Nobody filled it. In other words, the world, the universe is still waiting for you to be all that you can be. It doesn't matter what age you are. This is the time for you to realize exactly what your greatness is and step into it. And this is the moment that that transition starts to happen and that there is still room for you. You haven't been left behind. The ship never sailed. It's still there it's available to you. You still have a ride there. I'm going to go into tarot because I really need to. Guys, the links are below. I'll see you there.